All right, bravo to Steve Eiserman for getting another one on the books. The Red Wings today signed defenseman William Wallinder to a three-year ELC beginning with 2023-2024. Wallander will report to the Grand Rapids Griffins on an amateur tryout for the remainder of 2022-2023, and this is a pretty good deal. Firstly, what I wanted to do was just kind of talk about the semantics about it a bit. Now, I'm not 110% sure if this is the case, but I'm pretty sure it is. If anybody that is Swedish wants to go out there in the comments and correct me, then please feel free to go ahead and do that. But I do believe that in Sweden, they pronounce the W as two Vs in a row. So instead of saying William Wallander, I'm pretty sure it's William Wallander. I'm not 100% sure again, but that is what my understanding is of the situation over here. So either way, when it comes to Wallander, he is coming over to Detroit, or excuse me, to Grand Rapids, and he's going to be playing out there to end off this season, and his three-year ELC with the regular Red Wings begins next season. Let's take a look at the press release by Thomas Roth on the Red Wings website over here. Red Wings signed defenseman Wallander to a three-year ELC. Wallander, 20 years old, has spent the 2022-2023 campaign with the regular BK. Okay, does it just kind of go over a scouting report? Yeah, okay, it just kind of does a lot of stuff that we could do by looking at his Elite Prospects page. So, sorry, Mr. Roth, for writing the article and having us not read it, but... Either way, your work is still appreciated. Let's go over onto Volander's Elite Prospects page. 20 years old, 6 foot 190 left-handed defenseman. He is a big dude. A lanky dude, if you may say. And his mobility on the ice really does allow him to show off that skinniness. And that's a really bad word to use, calling somebody that's 6'4", 190, quote-unquote skinny. But he's not a bulky dude. He's not super big and everything. He's a lot more of that Elias Pedersen type of mold, but just a bit taller than Petey. And it allows him to kind of fly all over the ice. His mobility has always been a pretty good aspect of his game. He is one of the most technically skilled players amongst all defensemen in the 2020 draft, where he was taken second round, 32nd overall by the Red Wings. And if you go over to his most recent season, he had 26 points in 50 games played. Half a point a game guy, which is honestly really solid for a second year full-time SHL athlete. He also had three points in nine regular BK playoff games. And when it comes to the long-term projectability as to what Volander could be, Byron Bader has a tweet that I thought was really interesting right here. Volander's production and equivalency have greatly increased since he was drafted. It's not a very common development pattern. It always tends to be Swedish defensemen that go from lower production in their draft year or draft plus one to really high production by their draft plus three. Take a look at the comparable over here. Byron Bader is saying that Volander's statistical profile and growth profile matches that of one Matthias Ekholm, who has been a very good defenseman for both the Predators and the Oilers so far. If Volander could have some sort of an impact in the NHL like Ekholm, then hey, I think that's a pretty good steal for a guy taken in the second round. But of course, there are some other players that are brought up as comparisons over here too. Andre Nemish, Philip Westerland, Merrick Posnick, guys that you probably don't know too much about, but at the same time, I mean, there are some other players that have more comparisons here too, like Brandon Montour, Niels Longfist, you have Gustav Forsling on the Volander side, so there are some names here that are worth talking about, but of course the big one is Matthias Ekholm, which is very intriguing to me, definitely wanted to bring that up here in the video. But either way, we'll see what Volander is able to accomplish as a member of the Grand Rapids Griffins, heading over to that system, ending off 2020 to 2023. His ELC with the regular Red Wings starts next season, so we'll see what he does then. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Red Wings signing Volander to an ELC and an amateur tryout contract. Do you like this? Do you not like this? If you're a fan of the regular BK, what did you see out of Volander this season, and what do you think allows him to be so successful? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video, Shrolls 99, and bye.